After his father died at the age of 85 on New Year's Day, Ken Trenum has been on a search. It's in an effort to keep his dad's memory alive. Orly Trenum worked for Marine Atlantic in Summerside for 42 years. He was a steward on board one of the ships. When he retired, he was given a unique retirement gift. That gift has now gone missing, and Ken's on a mission to find it. He's on the phone with us this morning, and we hope we can aid in this bit of sleuthing. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Mitch. Uh, tell me a bit about your dad. Well, um, certainly he, well, he worked in the boats for 42 years, like you said, um, and he... He was probably one of the, or if not the most non-judgmental people out there in terms of um, how he'd relate to people. It wouldn't matter if you had money or if you didn't have money. It wouldn't matter if you had no hair or if you had lots of hair. Um, in terms of, there'd just be no, I guess, discrimination. Um, in terms of, uh, he'd, he'd never turn his back on anybody, so if anybody needed help, it wouldn't matter even if he didn't even know you. Um, if you went to him and you needed help, he'd find a way to help you. Um, he certainly wasn't a person who had a great deal of financial resources. Um, but certainly he, he did the best that he could um, to help to help anybody who came across his way. And he retired from Marine Atlantic. Yeah, he retired in 1984, um, and uh, they had the, the retirement I kept together there on the boats. And I've, I've been, I remember the time that he, he had the, the retirement gift. Now, as a, I can explain a little bit about that. It's, a, it's, a, it's about two feet by two feet. Um, plaque, and it has two photos in it, actually three, sorry, there's a, there's a photo of the new Abbey as well as the old Abbey, and then there's a picture of the Borden Dry Dock, and then there's a right up in the lower left-hand corner that mentions his name, um, in honor of, I can't remember it word for word, um, mm -hmm. I certainly remember it hanging up at our, uh, hanging up in our house on the walls, and, and um, just the, the sense of, I guess, satisfaction in, in that part of his life, I mean, for me, this, this is, I, 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 I mean, I don't know if it's out there. It probably isn't, um, but it must be somewhere. Um, so I figured this might be a great way to just to see. I mean, I, I when did you when did you lose track of it, Ken? Well, un unfortunately, it has been quite a while. I um, I remember when my, my father just gave it away. Just gave it away. Um, I was I was at university and I came back home. Um, and so whenever I, whenever he told me, bless his heart, I, I gave him pretty pretty hard time whenever I found out that he gave it away. <laughs> um, I can remember so vividly that I, my I, the words I used uh, were basically um, it, 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 this would mean so much to me upon your passing. Mm -hmm. I said uh, the person you gave it to would pale in comparison um, for myself being your son and, I, and I'm the only child in the family and uh, just having something so special like that to remember his to remember his years to remember his time. I mean, there's so many the names of the employees were like wallpaper in our house. I can remember this. If I look at any little, you know, nick and cranny, there's so many names that he mentioned, and I have so many memories for myself of, of uh, standing on the deck and wind blowing in my hair, and, and he knew the boats in and out, so as a kid, that you'd be pretty scared as a big monster of a fairy coming in, and you're going in there as a little kid, and, and he'd know, okay, you walk up this hall, you go here, you go there, and he'd seem to know everybody on the boats. So did you manage to, to track this down to the person that he gave it to? Did you, did you find out where it went after that? Or? Yeah, yeah, I, I did track it down to the person that he gave it to. Now, the person that um, he gave it to, they, they don't know what happened to it. They don't have it in their position anymore. And so at that point, I, I thought it would have been as easy as contacting this person, and I yeah. guess they would find it, and then I could, I could have it back. The family could have it. His grandchildren could see it and cherish it. Um, unfortunately, it hasn't been that easy. And uh, and so this this pretty much is my my last I guess they say kick at the can here to see if anybody out there my hope Mitch is that perhaps it's in a yard perhaps it went to a yard sale maybe and somebody picked it up um, there's many people out there who would be collecting marine Atlantic memorabilia sure. so I certainly hope that um, it may show up there um, again I'm not I'm, I can't be really hopeful that it will show up because I can't I guess emotionally be pretty hard if I let myself fully believe that this is I'll find it so I just need not to. Not to believe that I'll find it, but let's, let's hope that, that, that we are able to find it. All right, so as you say, two by two, a couple of photos, one of the old Abbey, one of the new Abbey, yep. and, and Orley's name is in, in the corner on, on a, on a, on a write-up. That it is, that it is. All right, so all they have to do is look for that Orley Trenum, and that'll give it away for sure. For sure, for sure. I love it, Mitch, when you mentioned Orley Trenum. I said that's how everybody would know him, so <laughs> he had a little tear in my eye, buddy, when you mentioned his name. Like all that. right, well, listen, if, if anybody calls us with information on this, we'll be sure to send them your way. I appreciate that, Mitch. Okay, thanks for talking all to right, us this take morning. Take care. Bye now. Bye-bye. That's Ken Trenum. He uh, lives in Summerside, and uh, he is trying to track down a plaque that his father received upon his retirement from Marine Atlantic.